this audience. Okay, so now that we know how to be productive citizens, I'd like to say this before introducing the next person. I think that the key to ending world hunger and the beginning to world peace is by becoming a global citizen. So let's have Jennifer Trujillo tell us how to build global citizens. Good evening, my name is Jennifer Trujillo and I teach English and Humanities at Dr. Wright Lasseter Early College High School just downtown in El Centro. And we are building global citizens every day without ever leaving Dallas. And we're doing it with the help of local museums, nonprofit organizations, and art. We partner with the Crow Collection of Asian Art. We do lots of work with Refugee Services of Texas. The World Affairs Council is one of our biggest sponsors. We work with Isla Urbana. 64% of our student population is economically disadvantaged, but we still earn the National Blue Ribbon Distinction from the U.S. Department of Education. 80% of our students are Hispanic. We spend time at the Mexican consulate in Dallas discussing important immigration issues. Most of our students are touched by immigration in some way. Some are documented, others are undocumented. Most of their parents or relatives may be undocumented. These are issues that are important to them. We celebrate Chinese New Year and observe Tibetan monks creating a mandala at the crow. Our students would never have access to things like Buddhism. They'd certainly never meet a Tibetan monk if we did not have access to these museums because of our close proximity. We rub elbows with Ben Carson at the Rosewood Crescent. I think we all know who Ben Carson is, right? This is where the heckling should probably come in. But even so, we have an open mind and we wanna hear what he has to say. He's important to politics right now. We walk for Peace Day at the Holocaust Museum. Because of our close proximity, we are able to really get involved with all of these things that are happening downtown all of the time. And our students aren't they don't live downtown. They live in Oak Cliff. They live in Pleasant Grove. They live in East Dallas. They live in West Dallas. But we volunteer at the Family Day at the Dallas Zoo because we all know how to use DART. We have DART passes. We take the red line to the Dallas Zoo and we can be there in 20 minutes anytime they need us. We throw birthday parties for Syrian refugees and teach them about the Mexican tradition of the pinata because we don't only want to teach them about American culture, we want to teach them about Mexican American culture because that's where they are now. We take them to the Dallas Arboretum, Bilo Gardens and the JFK Memorial. In two weeks, we're gonna take them to the Latino Cultural Center. We're gonna teach them about Dia de los Muertos. We're going to give them Halloween costumes and we're going to teach them how to decorate pumpkins to get them more involved in our culture. We've even hung out with the Dalai Lama, George W. Bush, because the World Affairs Council backs us up. We got to sing happy birthday to the Dalai Lama days before his 80th birthday. We helped clean, clean up White Rock Lake. Like I said, these kids do not live downtown. They live in East Dallas, they live in West Dallas, they live in Oak Cliff, and it's important to them to keep their community clean. They want to be able to use these facilities and they want to make them beautiful for everybody else in Dallas. Here we are at another lecture on immigration with the Consulate of Honduras at the Melrose Warwick Hotel. If you remember last year, there was a lot of uh, kids that were coming in, undocumented refugees from Honduras and Guatemala. And these are important issues that we need to know about and to help them. We've even raised money so the Cuernavaca's Children's Mission can provide books for children who cannot afford to go to school. Cuernavaca costs $200 a year to go to school. These children's parents cannot send them to school. They can't afford the uniforms. We serve on the Student Advisory Committee, the Teacher Advisory Committee, and have won first place in the JFK 50 Essay Contest. We do tons of work with the Sixth Floor Museum. And I've even taken the Sixth Floor Museum to Huashnong Agricultural University and Wuhan University in China. These kids who barely knew who John F. Kennedy was now know about his legacy, know, they know about Oswald, they know that he was arrested in this theater right here. We won the Thanksgiving Square Expressions Contest seven times in just three years. And by the way, one of these winners is sitting in this audience right now. Shout out to Bela Trujillo. And we got there on DART. We get DART. We all have DART passes. We know the trains. We know the buses. We know the bus lines. We know how to get around town on DART. That's how we do it. But we're about to take this show on the road. 
We, if we earn enough money, we're going to be able to put a rainwater system in a school in Mexico through Isla Urbana. This will give a school enough water to survive for six to ten months. In Mexico, if there's not enough water, they have to close down. And our JWAC vice president is even on the Fox 4 good day. We are Dallas. We ignite DFW every day.